nearly 90% of high net worth individuals, so we're talking millionaires and billionaires, invest in property. Now, that isn't a coincidence. They understand these five things, and the crazy thing is you don't actually need much money to make 10, 20, even 50 grand a month in property. Check out my other videos if you don't believe me. And over the last 10 years, my businesses have dealt with over 4,000 property transactions, and I've built up a multi-million pound property portfolio for these reasons. Anyway, reason number one is it's a tangible asset. Property is real, you can touch it, walk inside it, sleep in it, it isn't disappearing. And before you think, well, what if it burns down? Even if it did disappear, it's insured. If you buy stocks or shares and those companies go bust, no insurance company is gonna pay you out on that. But more importantly, high net worth people understand the concept of supply and demand. Property is a fundamental need for human beings. We need food, we need water and somewhere to sleep. You can't print more land and although you can build more houses, population has consistently increased at a faster rate than homes being built. Now, I'll explain later why that is so important, but think about that for a moment. That means as time goes on, there are more and more people and less and less houses to go around. What's this mean? Well, as demand goes up and supply can't keep up, prices go up. That is why house prices keep going up and up and up and why more and more people struggle to get on the housing ladder. I recorded a video recently where I share how much house prices have increased due to this. So check that out if you're interested. Reason two, passive income. Now as if what I've shared isn't enough, Passive income is a cherry on top. Not only do the rich understand their money is safe in property and most likely gonna keep increasing and increasing in value as time goes on. When you have someone live in the property, they pay you rent. The average rental yield in the UK is 4.75%. So some areas will be higher, others lower. So if you own a £100,000 rental property, not only is that gonna go up in value over the years, but it's paying you £4,750 a year on average. And as properties go up in value, so does the rent. You compare this to buying stocks and shares. The average dividend yield for the FTSE 100, the FTSE 100 is a cross section of the 100 biggest companies on the London Stock Exchange, is 3.91%. For the record, investing in index funds is also really good. I'm not knocking that, but you can see why the wealthy will of course want to mix property into their investments as well, especially given the experienced property investor will likely be focusing not on that 4.75% yield, but more 6 to 10%, that's what I focus on. And that's going to hugely outperform index funds. Reason number three, appreciation. Now remember earlier when I said how population has consistently increased at a faster rate than homes being built, and that I would explain later why this is so important. Well, that is what fuels prices going up. You have more and more people, and therefore more and more money chasing relatively less property. And so that's what causes prices to rise. That is why over the last 10 years, prices have almost doubled, increasing by 70% on average. Don't believe me? Check out this video on if prices double every 10 years, where I actually walk you through the actual data and prove that that's the case. Reason four, leverage. Leveraging a property means you can raise debt against it, or in English, that means you can get a buy-to-let mortgage. This is a key reason the wealthy love property. If you're buying stocks or shares, it's actually very difficult to raise debt against it. For the majority, you need the actual cash. Whereas with property, you can buy a 100,000 pound property with a 25,000 pound deposit. Yes, of course, that buy-to-let mortgage is then gonna cost you. But the idea is you don't pay it. The tenants that rent your property do that for you and you keep the profit. So if you have 100,000 pounds to invest, you could buy 100,000 pounds of stocks and shares, or you can spend three to 400,000 pounds on property using buy-to-let mortgages. Finally, reason five, the tax benefits. The wealthy understand that to invest seriously in property, you do not do so in your personal name. You buy property through property investment companies that you own. These are specifically classed as SPVs, special purpose vehicles. And although this all sounds complicated, it really isn't. You can set one up for 12 pounds. The only time it might make sense to buy investment property in your own name is if you earn less 
than £37,700 a year. So you pay a basic rate of tax. Ultimately, if you earn more than that, or your aspiration is to earn more than that, you should really be buying investment property within a company you own. The tax benefits to this are significant. You can claim your buy-to-let mortgage costs or the maintenance, any costs at all to do with your property investment business pre-tax. Better yet, with your profit, you can choose to do one of two things. You can, of course, pay yourself the profits by your company, issuing yourself dividends that generally have lower rates of tax than paying yourself a salary, or better yet, keep it within your business and just pay corporation tax. Yes, that's now 25%, but you don't pay the personal tax on top because you're keeping the money within your business. The wealthy love this because it then allows them to keep the money in the business where they're paying less tax. They then look to recycle that money within the business to buy even more investment property. So there you have it. If you wanna be wealthy, you need to think wealthy. See you in the next video.